What's going on gamers? Today I'm going to be giving you some tips that will not only help improve your confidence in game, but also help improve your confidence in yourself as well. With that being said, let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with some general tips on how to improve your self-confidence and then end the video strong with some good tips on how to carry the confidence you have in yourself over to your gameplay. So stick around for the whole video because I promise you it's going to help. The first tip is going to help improve your confidence in game by learning how to be more confident in yourself. And that's going to happen by taking care of yourself physically. This can be broken down into three parts. Number one is hygiene and grooming. Number two is exercise and nutrition. And number three is the way that you present yourself or your style. I bet you're thinking, Dylan, how the hell is this going to improve my confidence in game? Let me ask you this. If you walk around every day feeling like shit about the way you look and feel, how on earth are you going to be confident in anything that you do? If you are constantly belittling yourself in your mind, you're never going to be able to carry any confidence regardless of what you're doing. Not only that, but your mental will be so weak that whenever you start to play a little bad, you're going to spiral out of control and that little bit of confidence that you had in yourself will go straight out the window. So if you can learn to love yourself and be confident and happy with what's looking back at you in the mirror, you will inevitably carry that confidence into everything that you're doing. And yes, that includes playing video games because it is very hard to knock somebody down who is very secure with who they are. In order to take care of your hygiene, you need to make sure that you're following a daily skincare routine. And if you aren't already doing this, it's going to make a world of a difference. At the very least, you should be using a daily face wash and moisturizer. But I would highly suggest that you also use an exfoliation scrub twice a week and a face mask once a week. And no, it's not girly. I'll list some really good affordable products in the video here you also need to make sure that you're getting a haircut that suits you and most importantly one that you like with that being said if you can grow a beard make sure that you're trimming it properly so it doesn't look ratty and if you can't grow a full one yet please shave it because I promise you a half-assed patchy beard is much worse than a clean shaven face. And lastly, for God's sake, make sure that you're flossing and brushing your teeth twice a day because if your teeth aren't taken care of, you're not going to want to smile and everybody looks better with a smile. So now that your face and hair are taken care of, let's talk about the rest of your body. You should be exercising and fueling your body properly. So many people write themselves off before they even give themselves a chance. A lot of you might think that you're ugly, but in reality, your true potential is just hiding under some layers of fat or you're extremely fail, which can also be seen as unattractive. Both of these can lead to you being extremely insecure about yourself, which will spill over directly into your gameplay and anything else you do in life. If you start to exercise routinely anywhere from three to six days a week and start to eat properly in terms of your goals. So if you're trying to lose weight, you eat in a calorie deficit. And if you're trying to gain weight, you eat in a calorie surplus. You can take yourself from thinking you're a three or a four all the way to being an eight to a 10. Not only that, but the confidence that comes along with actually following through with your goals and not giving up and transforming yourself is something that is unexplainable until you've actually done it. And it's also something that nobody can take away from you. If you're confused about how to find your maintenance calories, you can go online and use a calorie calculator. This will give you a rough estimate. And then you can use an app like MyFitnessPal to track what you're eating and match your daily calorie intake to what you've calculated for yourself. If you do this for a week and you're not either gaining a pound or losing a pound, depending on your goals, then you can adjust either up or down by 100 to 200 calories and continue this until you're steadily making progress. The last thing you need to get under control to fully improve your self-confidence and transform your life and gameplay is the way that you dress. This one is simple yet extremely complicated. You need to make sure that you're wearing clothes that actually fit you. Don't be wearing clothes that are way too baggy or way too tight. Find nice fitted clothes and stick to those. You also need to learn how to color match. This is something a lot of people mess up, but it's very simple. Make sure that you're not wearing two different loud colors and you should be sticking to color blends that work well together. For example, you can wear blue jeans with a white shirt. You can wear black jeans with a white shirt. You can wear black shirt with blue jeans. You get the picture. And make sure you're staying away from clothes with a lot of branding. A little bit of branding is okay, but too much is just way too over the top. Also a bonus tip, if you're overweight, you can wear darker clothes because they're going to make you appear more lean. When you're buying jeans, make sure you get them hemmed by a tailor so that they actually fit you properly. Instead of going out and buying $200 jeans, you can buy $40 jeans and pay 20 bucks to get them hemmed and they're going to look just as good. So now that you know the steps needed to improve your self-confidence, you can take action on them and carry that newfound confidence into your gameplay. The key to being confident in game is knowing that whenever you're going to take a fight, you can win it and make plays with intent instead of half-assing them or changing your mind last minute. Now, in order to have the confidence in yourself to be able to do this, you need two things. Now, Number one is to without a doubt know that you are good at what you do and believe in your ability to be able to do it. 
which is why having high self-confidence outside of the game is so important. And number two is having the ability to actually deliver on what you're confident about. Because if you can't do this, no matter how much confidence you have in your abilities, as soon as you start to underperform, it's going to be very hard for you to hold that inner confidence. But quickly, before I explain to you everything else you need to know to be truly confident in yourself and your abilities in game, what is your favorite quality about yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, some of you may be thinking, I want to be confident in my ability to do things. I just can't seem to do it. And the best way to deal with this is to work on your self talk. This is the action of reaffirming your belief in yourself and your ability to do something with your internal dialogue. You do this through internal positive affirmations and having a positive attitude about everything you're going to do. For example, when you go to take a gunfight, you need to be thinking in your head, I'm way better than this kid. There's no way I'm going to lose. He's absolute dog water. I'm going to mop the floor with him. This is very important because if you go into anything in life, even taking a fight in a video game, thinking that you can't do it, odds are you're not going to make it happen. Self-talk and self-confidence go hand in hand. You you know what they say, fake it till you make it. Just by telling yourself you can do something and believing it, your chances of being successful in it increase tenfold. And on the opposite end, if you are constantly talking down on yourself and saying that you're terrible and getting mad at yourself for messing up and having zero belief in how amazing you truly are, you will never be able to perform in anything that you do. So whenever you do lose a game or a gunfight, don't talk shit about yourself. Look at it as an opportunity to learn something. And don't ever talk bad about yourself, whether it's in game or in your everyday life, because confidence in who you are and the belief that you are capable are what's truly important. So always work on being 1% better every single day and know that you are capable. Self-talk will take a lot of work, but practice it every single time you're playing and be mindful of what you're telling yourself. If you actively do this, you can change your internal dialogue, which is going to not only lead to you playing better in game, but living a much happier life. Coupling self-confidence in who you are as a person with good, solid self-talk will ensure that nothing can stop you from achieving whatever it is that you want, including the rank in the game that you're playing. So last but not least, how do you actually deliver on the self-confidence that you now have? This one's easy. You need to play the game more. And when you do it, you need to actually be practicing your in-game mechanics. The best way for you to do this is to be completely honest with yourself and pinpoint the things that you need to work on instead of practicing just everything in general. If you don't do this, you're going to end up thinking you're just bad because you are practicing. You're just not improving as fast as you think you should or at all. This is something called deliberate practice. So if your movement is good, but your aim is terrible, don't waste your time practicing your movement. Double down on your aim instead and vice versa. Doing this is going to allow you to know exactly what your weak and your strong points are. And by actively working to fix what needs improvement, you will be more confident in your strengths and know that in time, your weaknesses will be fixed, allowing you to not be down on yourself, but instead be confident in your ability to improve because you actually know why you're underperforming and you're taking steps to correct it. It's the subtle little things that can have a massive impact on the way we view and ultimately carry ourselves. A good way for you to practice your weaknesses in game would be to either play a casual game mode. And when you do this, make sure you're taking it seriously like you would in a ranked match, or you can make an alt account that you can play on and solely use it to work on what needs to be improved. That way, when you're playing, you won't have any emotional attachment to your rank, allowing you to make confident plays and take risks, which will help you learn how to play more confident much faster than trying to do it when you're worried about losing or deranking. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you got any value out of this video or you want to see videos like this in the future feel free to hit that like button sub to the channel and ring that bell notification so that you can stay ahead of every other gamer and unlock your full potential much love guys hopefully i'll see you in the next one